A lot of people that in the towers are doing I already recorded this video. But you know, I was very, very harsh and, and you know you know this man is gonna get up a bit handier now because they calm down a small bit. Because in the other video, you know, I absolutely give him a whole abuse and I basically you know you know, he he wanted he wanted to be att attract attention, so we got attention. And you know, the attention I give him there uh, I'm not even gonna put up the video because I use very foul language to denounce this foul. And this is the smart cut I'm talking about. He's in America and he's new in New Jersey. Um, and guess what he's bright here? This man's 50. This man's not a teenager. He coughed into a party over there. And guess what? This is the best news about this. This is the thing that makes the day for me. Seven years in prison. You hold me right. Seven years in prison for doing this. And I'm not saying this is an overreaction. But the, the, the dead right over there. The dead right. I hope to beat the head off him. Because he looks like some smart... I'm not going to hear. And I really want to break his face. And simple as that. Because he looks like some of these cuts. That won't listen. And just doesn't, and thinks this is a big joke. And thinks that he can get off of what he wants to do. He won't get off. Now he's 50 years old and he doesn't have any, he can't even take it, can't get into his head. Did you know, this is, there may be there's something going on in the world. He can't get into his head. He's not that, he's tick. He's really, really tick. He doesn't know, he's stupid. He's very idiot. Idiotic. Seven years and a $26,000 fine. You hold me right. That is a huge um, thing for just coughing or something. And then giving a smart remark. To this person in the shop, and he's such a smart little gobshite. And if God Almighty, he's and I hope the cops over there after bad the head of him when the government when they got him forth. Because I say he gives smart abuse to the cops when they came to him and got him arrested. Because he looks like one of them who just will be smart for everybody and thinks that he can win the gaff. Oh Jesus! I I had to pat New Jersey State Attorney on the back. Because my God, seven years they're really going to make an exact out of you, and you taking that mug shock that you know when they took the mug shock the cops. You know, you think they're just gonna let you off with it. You think they're just gonna let you off and just think it's a big laugh, as you thought it was. You think they're gonna, you think they're gonna let you off with it? No, of course not. They're gonna make you suffer. They're gonna make you suffer and they'll be dead right to make you suffer. Because you look like a very, a sorry excuse for a human being. And I'm saying that very seriously. You look like somebody that doesn't respect nobody. You doesn't. You look like somebody who thinks this is a big joke, that people are dying, that 20,000 people are dead already because of this coronavirus. And you don't have any respect for yourself, as simple as that, because if you're that low to do that, and there's somebody that's talking shelves in the shop, trying to keep people alive with food, and obviously trying to, you know, trying to put food up on the shelf, you're very sad, you're very sad, you're very, very sad, simple as that, and you deserve to full, face the full punishment, and even if that may, seven years, people might say that's very, very stiff, but you know, maybe it might teach him a lesson when he gets out, if he's only 60 or something like that. No, I hope to put more years on it. And I really hope, but I really hope to make you suffer in the prison. I really hope they don't give you any protection in the prisons. Yeah, there'll be gangs going up to you and you think you're the big man. You think you're the big man going around coughing on the employees. They'll do it the best. Well, there'll be some gangs in the prisons, and I'm telling you this. The showers won't be very fun for you, because they wouldn't know people. They're walking shops, they're walking retail. And they have to put up with people like you all the time. And you know what? They're going to make you suffer. They're going to make you suffer. And I'd love to hear that, you know, the major suffer. I would love to hear that, make my day to hear that. Because, you no, know, because that's the only way you're going to learn. If somebody, makes you put, if somebody makes you pay. And obviously this is one of the payments. Makes you suffer for seven years in the prison. Seven years in the federal penitentiary over there. It's going to make you suffer. It's going to make you, and I hope to do. Because it teaches you a lesson. It teaches you a lesson about respect. And how, you know, in times of emergency, in times of crisis, you should respect your fellow human beings. And you shouldn't be that low to do a cough on somebody's face and then joke about it, then give smart remarks. How dare you? Simple as that. How dare you do that? And you know what? I hope to push the full punishment onto you. Because my God, the state of Tony over there seems very determined to make you suffer so dearly that nobody will ever think about doing this again. And you know what? I, enjoy, I, hope, I hope you enjoy your prison stay because I'm sure you will be getting a lot of abuse in the prisons. Thank you.